It is the dawn of a new age in the railroad industry, and the progression of technology continues to pave a path for the future. Union Pacific has embraced the new breakthroughs in mechanics by commissioning JBS Cranes and Holland Rail to design and build the largest seamless rail welding facility in the world. Based in Stockton, California, the facility handles 480 foot hardened rail pieces imported from Japan and welds them into 1,920 foot ribbons. With the help of several contributing companies, each chosen by JBS, the facility was fully built and functional in early 2015. JBS Cranes chose DeGraff Development Incorporated to install the complex foundation design for the facility. This included 65 foot deep concrete caissons and a sophisticated electrical system capable of operating a 480 foot magnetic rail handling crane. DeGraff also utilized a series of pile driven steel beams with minimum tolerances to maximize the storage of the railroad rails. As a leader in commercial and industrial contracting, DeGraff Development overcame several challenges with this project, as it was the first of its kind. CSD Engineers was chosen to provide a cost effective civil design for the entire facility. CSD utilized footings as frame foundations and drilled cast in place pier foundations with pile caps for the rail storage structure. Hairpins tied the building's shallow foundations to the floor slabs, which allowed for decreased volumes of concrete and a reduction in excavation work. CSD also provided the electrical design, which encompassed grounding, interior and exterior lighting, and power distribution, including a backup power generator and ATF. They also provided the 480 VAC power wiring design for the rail handling equipment. San Joaquin Steel was responsible for fabricating and erecting the 736 tons of structural steel needed for the facility. This included the eight 201 foot long crane support trusses. The original plan to erect the trusses in three sections was quickly dismantled upon viewing the site, as it would hinder the schedule of ongoing construction. San Joaquin was able to adapt quickly by assembling the trusses on the ground, creating mega picks weighing 89 tons each. Due to their extremely tight erecting techniques, the work was completed ahead of schedule. JBS Crane selected EMH Incorporated of Valley City, Ohio to furnish the hoist for the facility. EMH used severe duty rated hoists with variable frequency drives and true vertical lift for accurate load placement. The hoists worked in tandem with encoders, which were configured with a cross mounted drum and a four wheel drive trolley to facilitate this one of a kind operation. EMH has been a supplier of overhead cranes and components since 1988 and is a member of the Crane Manufacturers Association of America, certified to ISO 9000 2008 standards. In less than 24 months, the building ready pad had been transformed into a fully functional facility, and JBS handed over the keys to Holland Rail so that production could begin. Walker Magnetics was selected to design and construct the large magnets needed to lift the 480 foot rails. These magnets required powerful magneto motive forces, which needed to be properly distributed throughout the rail. Walker's engineers also designed cool operating coils, wound for a 75% duty cycle, to combat the large amounts of internal heat caused by daily use. The magnet system is powered by a Walker Control Master SSC solid state digital controller. And includes a Control Master battery backup power system. JBS teamed with Fletcher Industries to manufacture the controls and automation for the rail hoist system. Fletcher's design utilized an Allen Bradley Control Logix PLC, Allen Bradley PowerFlex 755 VFDs, and precision rotary encoders, which monitored the exact position of each trolley and hoist. This allowed the PLC software program to synchronize the speed. Position and torque of each motor, and automatically correct the alignment of the motors over the entire span of the facility, even while in motion. This ensured safe, repeated picking and placing of the 480 foot rails. Holland LP was awarded the contract to operate this new welding plant after completion, as they were the ones responsible for designing, building, and installing the welding production line equipment. The process begins as the welding machine feeds the 480 foot pieces inside and seamlessly binds them together. The red hot rail is then cleared of any excess metal by a factory worker. 
followed by a large shear, effectively making the weld seamless and smooth. It then moves the rail down the line, through an air cooling section and into the inspection building, where the rail is ground down and straightened. Finally, the rails are loaded onto specially designed rail cars for site-specific delivery. Within days, the rail car is filled with the 1,920-foot rails and shipped off to its destination. These ultra-long railroad rails will reduce the wear and tear for any rail cars that travel along them, effectively maintaining the rail cars for longer. For more information on this state-of-the-art project, or for details about the companies involved, you may visit the websites listed here.